today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos! So we're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes for patrons today, and with me to do the pack, blessings, we have Bob! So hopefully he will get us the crazy pulls we're looking for. So let's introduce the patrons, we have Benjamin Sullivan and Eric Polanco, thank you guys for being patrons. So let's move Bob aside and we're going to roll for Benjamin first. So we'll go one through three, first row, four through six for the second, narrow it down from there. Okay, so one and then roll again, one through four. So we get number three, so that'll be Benjamin's. All right, now for Eric, let's roll again. So we get a four, so that'll be the second row. I'll set these aside. And we will roll one through four. Okay, so we get a one, so that one is Eric's. All right, let's set these aside and get to cracking. And these things are my vision for how a Chaos Mystery Box should be, so hopefully stuffed full of value here for the patrons. Okay, what do we have here? This month it is total chaos, so who knows what we'll find. With Modern Horizons, Ixalan, Magic Origins. Oh, okay, we'll take a look at that in a moment. Aether Revolt, Ravnica Allegiance, and Guilds of Ravnica, so... Bob will take care of the pack blessings, a little bit of a shuffle over the packs. And let's see, we'll do something like this. Okay, so let's take a look at the foil here. Benjamin, you have done rather nicely today. It is Liliana, Dreadhorde General, Legendary Planeswalker Liliana, 6 loyalty for 6 mana. Whenever a creature you control dies, draw a card or plus one create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Minus four each player, sacrifice two creatures and minus nine. Each opponent chooses a permanent they control of each permanent type and sacrifices the rest. Fantastic foiling there. So we'll set that one aside for Benjamin and get cracking here. Starting off Guilds of Ravnica. And the patrons will get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. We start off with Righteous Blow, Leapfrog, Goblin Locksmith, Creature Goblin Rogue. Very nice to see the goblins, as you might have guessed. Ledev Guardian, Dowser of Lights, Urban Utopia, Goblin Electromancer. Yes, the goblins are back. Notion Rain, so there's an Locket, Watcher in the Mist, and the Uncommons Boros, Challenger. Crawl, Harpooner, Inescapable Blaze, and Rare is Find and Finality. So Find is a Sorcery for two. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Finality, Sorcery for six. Whoa. You may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature you control then. All creatures get minus four, minus four until end of turn. Alright. And a Demir Guild Gate and a Soldier Token. So next up, Aether Revolt. Still hunting for those inventions. Those are the shiny goodness that have eluded us so far. We have Dispersal Technician, Audacious Infiltrator, Shock. Take into custody, Renegades Getaway, Silk Weaver Elite, Ice Over, Watchful Automaton, Augmenting Automaton, Implement of Examination, Uncommon's Hidden Hobolus, Spire Patrol, Siege Modification, and where is Dark Intimations. Sorcery for five. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker, then discards a card. You return a creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand, then draw a card. And when you cast a Bolus planeswalker spell, exile Dark Intimations from your graveyard, that planeswalker enters the battlefield with an additional loyalty counter on it. Alright then, and a planes and a servo token. No shiny goodness there, alas. Next up, Magic Origins. Okay, we have Act of Treason, Celestial Flare, Thornbow Archer, Volcanic Rambler, Nivix Barrier, Might of the Masses, Leaf Gilder, Alchemist Vile, 
Ring Warden Owl, Bellows Lizard, and Uncommon's Elemental Bond, Call of the Full Moon, Foundry of the Consoles, and rare is Nissa's Revelation. Sorcery for seven, scry five, then reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, you draw cards equal to its power and you gain life equal to its toughness. And a forest and a Chandra Nalar card. Okay, so what is your favorite planeswalker? Is it Nissa or Chandra or perhaps Liliana? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, next we have Ravnica Allegiance. Looking for the shock lands here. Okay, we have a Concordia Pegasus. Thought Collapse, yes, that will happen from time to time. If you watch too many videos on this channel, Spear Spewer, Creature Goblin Warrior, 10th District Veteran, Dead Rebels, Rampaging Rendhorn, Law Mages Binding, Act of Treason, Imperious Oligarch, Watchful Giant, and Uncommons, we've been trolled by the Trollbred Guardian. Troll Frog Warrior, apparently, Basilica Bellhaunt, Junk Troller, and the rare is Zagana Utopian Speaker. Legendary Creature Merfolk Wizard 4 4 for 4. When she enters the battlefield, if you control another creature with a plus 1 plus 1 count on it, draw a card. And for 4, a green and a blue, it has Adapt 4, so that's about putting on the plus 1 plus 1 counters. Each creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it has Trample. Okay, and a Rakdos Guild Gate. Yes, the best guild. And a Centaur token. Okay, nothing crazy as of yet. Ixalan. Not sure what craziness we'll find in Ixalan, but got our fingers crossed anyway. We have Mark of the Vampire. Frenzied Raptor. Slash of Talons. Commune with Dinosaurs. Getting all the dinosaurs today. Storm Sculptor. Vanquish the weak, and is that Bob? Maybe not. Maybe a distant cousin, maybe it's Eddie. Pirates Cutlass, Anointed Deacon, Stormfleet Pyromancer, Sirens Ruse, and Uncommon's Kumena's Speaker, Tempest Caller, Thundering Spineback, and the rare is Legion's Landing. Legendary Enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 white vampire creature token with lifelink. And when you attack with three or more creatures, transform Legion's Landing into Adanto the First Fort. So this is a legendary land. You can tap it to add a single white mana to your mana pool. For two and white, tap, create a one on white vampire creature token with lifelink. So I remember that one was quite popular back in the day when it was in standard with vampire decks. Okay, we got a checklist and a treasure token. Okay, final pack here for Benjamin, Modern Horizons. And I can't remember, is this the Japanese ordering? No, it's the English ordering, okay. So that makes life easier. We have Choking Tethers, Ephemerate, Bogarden Dragonheart, Thornado, Azra Smoke Shaper, Geomancer's Gambit, Settle Beyond Reality, Universal Automaton, Mob, Segovian Angel, Uncommon's Talisman of Creativity, Vengeful Devil, Cunning Evasion, and rare is Force of Virtue. Enchantment for four. If it's not your turn, you may exile white card from your hand rather than pay the spell's mana cost that has flash. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and a snow covered mountain. And I have no idea what that one is. What is that? That is rebuild, okay, of course. And a zombie token. All right, so let's set this stuff aside. There we have it, Benjamin. Even if you didn't do the greatest on the packs, you got the Liliana there, so I think that is a win. All right, so let's get this pack out of the way. Moving right along here for Eric. Thank you for being a patron, Benjamin, by the way, and Eric as well. Got cards flying everywhere. So let's see what we've got in the second box here. It's very chaotic this month, as you may have guessed. And speaking of chaos, we've got a fun product coming up on the channel very shortly. So you can probably guess what that is. Leave your guesses in the comments and see if you're right. Okay, Modern Horizons, Rivals of Ixlan. Journey into Nyx. Ooh, that's another tasty one. 
Water of the Spark, Raven Cat Legend, Sun Throne of Bell Drained, Bob, do your thing. Shuffling across the packs there. Okay, so let's see. We'll go uh, get the vegetables out of the way first, right? Uh, something like this. And who do we have here? None other than a Johnny Mentor of Heroes. So very cool. I think this is one of the Mythic Edition cards. We have Legendary Planeswalker, a Johnny for loyalty for five. Is plus one, distribute three plus one plus one cannons among one, two or three target creatures you control. He's got another plus one, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an aura creature or planeswalker card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Minus eight, you gain 100 life, just like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so nice foiling there for Eric. So pop him over there. All right, let's get to cracking rivals of Ixalan. So what is it going to be this time? Dinos, Pirates, Merfolk, not quite sure. We shall see. We have Negate, Brazen Freebooter, okay, Pirates, Divine Verdict, Jadecraft Artisan, Merfolk, Dusk Legion, Zealot, Vampire, Gruesome Fate, Exultant Sky Marcher, okay, the Vampire's winning, Shatter, Tilinali's Crown, Deadeye Rig Hauler, so pirates, I think two, two, and we've got a dinosaur sky march aspirant. First the uncommons, Stormfleet Sprinter, Cacophodon, and a checklist card. That's unusual. Oh, profane procession. Okay, legendary enchantment for three, for three, a white and a black exile target creature. Then if there are three or more cards exiled with profane procession, transform it in two. Tomb of the Dusk Rose, Legendary Land, add one mana of any color to your mana pool when you tap for two white, black, tap. Put a creature card outside with this permanent onto the battlefield under your control. Okay, very nice. And then Elemental Token. So let's move on to Throne of Eldrain here. Open an absolute ton of this lately, including a whole box of the collector packs. So if you have not seen that video yet, I'll pop a link up in the corner, you can check it out. Next we have Wishful Merfolk, Seven Dwarves, Outflank, Malevolent Noble, Insatiable Appetite, Reeve Soul, Fling, Flutterfox, Witch's Cottage, Merrileaf Rider, Inquisitive Puppet, yes, the Uncommons into the story, Witch's Oven, that's a fun one when you use it with the cat. And a mythic, very cool, the Cauldron of Eternity. Legendary artifact for, what, 12? Holy moly. Spell cost two less cast for each creature card in your graveyard. Ah, so that's how you cheat it out. Whenever a creature you control dies, put it on the bottom of its owner's library for two, a black tap, pay two life. Turn target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Still not the best mythic, but I'm going to take it. An island and an MTG arena card. I've been playing a bunch of MTG arena lately, getting back into the swing of things. Um, so what have I got? Uh, Raktos Sacrifice and what is it? Sultai Food, I think are the two decks I've been doing lately. So getting back in the swing of things. Leave it out in the comments what you've been playing in arena lately. Any cool combos you've discovered. Next we have Feral Maker, Knight of Sorrows, Coral Commando, Plague White, Axbane Beast, Catacomb Croc, he'll bite your arm off, yes! That's right, I remembered, somebody corrected me. Last time I saw this guy I said he'll bite your whole body off, but I was wrong. No, he only bites your arm off. Very important to know. We'll get a summary judgment. Ceruli Caretaker, Chillbringer, Uncommons Rally to Battle, Hacrobat, we got a split card, Collision and Colossus, and the rare is Taser Karlov, Legendary Creature, Human Advisor 2 4 for 4. If a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Creature tokens you control have Vigilance and Lifelink, and of course the fantastic artwork here from Magali Villeneuve. Excellent indeed, and a foil gift of strength. 
with a Zoria skill gate and a human token. Okay, on to journey into next. And anybody getting excited about Theros Beyond Death coming up in January? Seems like we'll get a bit of a breather with all the sets at least before then. God Hunter Octopus, Rouse the Mob, Font of Vigor, Oakheart Dryads, Feast of Dreams, Satyr Grove Dancer, Font of Ire, Blood Crazed Hoplite, Areska Swift Claw, Warwing Siren, and Squelching Leeches. Isn't that delightful? Spire Spine. A Crow and Line Breaker, and are we going to pull a god today? Let's check it out. Skybind. Okay, so this enchantment for five has Constellation. Whenever Skybind or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, XL target, non enchantment permanent. Turn that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, I have no idea about that card, but I'm sure it's a decent pull. We're going to mountain and a Sphinx token. Okay, on to War of the Spark. Maybe we'll pull a Liliana foil from this. That would be craziness. Okay, we have Crush Descent, Invading Manticore, Gideon's Sacrifice, Dismantle Operative, Force Landing, Charm Stray, Vraska's Finisher, Heartfire, Pollen Bright Druid, Guild Globe, Uncommon Cyclops, Electromancer, Emergence Zone. Narset Parter of Veils, probably the best uncommon in the set. And the rare is Dreadhorde Invasion, which is enchantment for two. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and amass one. So put a plus one, plus one counter on an army you control. If you don't control one, create a zero, zero black zombie army creature token first hand. Whenever a zombie token you control with power six or greater attacks, it gains life link to end of turn and a swamp. And a zombie army. There we are. That's what we need for that one. Okay, final pack here. Modern Horizons. Fingers crossed. We didn't do the greatest on that first one in this video, but maybe we will do better with this one for Eric. Okay, we have Scour All Possibilities. Stirring Address. Quakefoot Cyclops. Umazawa's Charm. Nimble Mongoose. Iceberg Cancrix. Lancer Sliver. Rank Officer, Pondering Mage, Arkham's Astrolabe, which after the banning in Pauper, I'm not sure how much it's worth, but I'm going to put it in anyway. Glacial Revelation, first the Uncommons, Twisted Reflection, Saddled Rhyme Stag, and the rare is Prismatic Vista. Nice. So land, tap, pay one life, suck it, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto Battlefield, then shuffle your library. Can't go wrong with that. A nice snow covered swamp and this flying carpet dude. Bizarre trade mage. All right, there we are. And a goblin token. Okay, so there we are for Eric. A very nice pull at the end there. Where are we? Prismatic Vista. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, we've got some very tasty videos coming up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.